Exchanges are illiquid. Let me say that again. Exchanges are illiquid. Another exchange bites the dust by suspending withdrawals. Not your keys, not your crypto. Smack the likes and subscribes. And of course, guys, you guys know we're powered by. Getting straight to it, guys. Richard Hart tweeted out, not your keys, not your crypto. Hashtag hot bit. Uh-oh. You can hate the guy. You can love the guy. It doesn't matter. This right here is facts. Clicking on this screenshot from Hotbit customer service. Let's see if we can zoom in for Becky in the back. Oh, it likes to zoom out, unfortunately. Okay. It's kind of weird with the tweeters. Anyways, it says, Dear Hotbit users, we regret to inform you that Hotbit will have to suspend trading, deposits, withdrawal, and funding functions. The exact time of resumption cannot be determined at the moment. I like the way they play with words. The reason is that a former Hotbit management employee who left Hotbit in April this year was involved in a project last year uh, which was against Hotbit's internal principles in which Hotbit was unknown that law enforcement authorities now think is suspected of violating criminal laws. So a number of Hotbit senior managers have been subpoenaed by law enforcement since the end of July and are assisting in the investigation. Furthermore, law enforcement has frozen some funds of Hopit, which has prevented Hopit from running normally. Guys, they always tell you something, but what they tell you, is it really true? When Binance got hacked in the summer of 19, they first said it wasn't a hack. They first said it was maintenance, unscheduled maintenance. Whenever I see an exchange say unscheduled maintenance, which we have not seen lately at all, that concerns me a lot. So yeah, it is kind of uh, interesting. Anyways. Moving on here, Hopit and the rest employees of Hopit's management are not involved in the project and have no knowledge of illegal information involved in the project. However, we are still actively cooperating with law enforcement authorities in their investigations and are continuously communicating with them through our lawyers and applying for the release of frozen assets. The assets of all users are safe on Hopit. Well, they tell you that, but now you can't withdraw. <laughs> I mean, the, the, how, are they safe or not they safe? You said they are safe, but then you can't withdraw. Sounds unsafe to me. Hopit will resume normal service as soon as the assets are unfrozen. All users' assets and data on Hopit are secure and correct. I don't know what I trust less, the government or an exchange. I mean, they're both equally as, like, as, as uh, like corrupt in my humble opinion. The thing is, right now, you're relying on whatever government law enforcement authority, if it's the U.S., if it's not the U.S., like whatever government agency out there to give them their funds back so then hopefully that they don't lose so much money to where they have to take your funds from Hopit. Because uh, what if Hopit needs funds for lawyers? Uh, your funds may, may be gone from that. Just saying, not your keys, not your crypto. Uh, it says, Hopit is working hard to continue to cooperate and follow up on the progress of the investigation by the law enforcement authorities. And will announce the results of the investigation as soon as they are available. I um, know you guys, that's probably going to take a while. About the treatment of users' assets on Hopit during the suspension time, please click here. If there's any update about this issue, we will inform you thoroughly on our community. Da, 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 da. Uh, we're sorry for any inconvenience caused, obviously. I mean... <laughs> I don't know, guys. Is there an inconvenience? Hmm. I, I don't know about that. Well, for me, there's not because I, I don't have coins on Hopit. Um, but if you have co coins on Hopit, which is an S coin exchange, um, I would not keep much money on there at all. Um, you can buy some good old, like S coins. But yeah, I mean, hey, what do you believe? He, here in crypto, I don't know what to believe. We see exchanges lie straight to your face, lending pl platforms lie straight to your face, specifically CEOs. And then like the next day they come out and they're bankrupt. So what do you believe? I don't know what to believe. Hopefully on the most positive side, guys, on the most positive side, let's just say this investigation with the people that are, I guess, criminals now, it goes through a speedy process to say a month or two it's done. And now Hopit gets their, their funds unfrozen and now they get their, the funds for you. And now they open up and everybody can withdraw. Everybody can do whatever they want, trade away, own their own keys this time. Um, that's the most positive outcome possible. Or they're, they're just insolvent and they didn't tell you. Guys, Mal Gox was insolvent in 2011. When did they go under? 2014. We did a whole live stream going over that. Um, so I, I, I'd love to be optimistic and positive and all, all unicorns and rainbows and lucky charms and I don't know, the pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. 
But like we see the corruption, um, especially in legacy finance and then of course in crypto. So I would just, obviously I've been saying this for a while during the bull run, during, during the bear run, not your keys, not your crypto. You probably want to invest in something like a, a ledger, get the X if, if you're going, you know, like if you're gonna go balls deep, 150 bucks. Get, I think the best bang for the buck is this one right here, the Nano S Plus. There's guys, there, there, there's a link down below which supports the channel at no extra cost to you. And yes, I actually think the Nano S Plus is the best bang for the buck. That's the one I think if you're like a little iffy, like go after that. Don't spend like twice the price basically like for this one. I would make more money if you bought the Nano X, but I still think this right here is the best bang for the buck. Uh, minus it, it just doesn't have the Bluetooth and the iOS capabilities. So if you don't care about those two things, which most people probably don't, um, plus they have more colors that I think are cool. Um, that's like a very like, like minor thing, but it's seriously, you, you want to own your keys. You like get yourself a ledger or go buy some, there's all these other, um, ha like hardware devices. Now this is just one of like the OG ones, which I got in back in the day and I just stuck with it. Cause I mean, you get used to one thing. I mean, I'm basically like a, like a, like an old man, like, you know what I mean? You get used to that one thing. You just keep using it. Like why, why would I go learn about something else when this works? Anyways, um, that right there is that. So please be careful. Not your keys, not your crypto. It's not really surprising to see. Uh, I see what it does there. Um, yeah, it's, it's not re like really surprising to see Voyager, Celsius, um, 3AC, other places we can speculate that they got bought out. So please just, uh, just be careful. Um, like here in crypto, we're seeing during the bear market, a lot of companies right now, I believe are insolvent right now. We're looking for a pump. Everybody's getting excited because inflation is not that bad, guys. The guy with the B name, he said it's not that bad. It's just not that bad, guys, okay? I don't know about you guys, the food around me, gas around me, everything around me at least, and I'm sure you as well, because I, I live in America on the East Coast, things have gone up a lot. Gas is still way higher. Food is still way higher. So I don't know why we're getting all excited because gas went down a dollar like near me. Cool, went down a dollar, but it's still up well over a dollar from like a year ago. So what's the <laughs> what's the big thing to be happy about? Um, it's 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 kind of crazy. Right, right now they're just looking for some exit liquidity. We've been talking about this. It's taking longer and longer than, like, than expected. I don't know the time frame, but you have to understand we're still in a downtrend. We've been talking about this. We're live Monday to Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Sometimes I'm a little late if I get home late, but nonetheless, we're still here live. We're still in a downtrend. Every, a lot of people, not, not everybody. I shouldn't say everybody because that is false. A lot of people, they're like, oh my goodness, we missed the bottom. It's gonna go to the moon. I see the moon boys on Twitter, especially the ones from Dubai calling 100K coming. We're gonna go to the moon. It's gonna be exciting. We're gonna go. You know, like they're all excited, but here's the thing. They're just, they just want some exit liquidity. They're looking for your money. Um, it's just how it works, unfortunately. So just watch out. Um, I, I, I just think it's unlikely. We'll probably break to, to the upside. And if we do, it's gonna be a massive, massive trap. So if we do, I'd be looking to like probably put in a short. If we would just go straight up right now, like the Moon Boys say, that's around $33,000 at this downtrend. So interesting. Um, I, I, I don't think we'll make it that high. But then again, guys, personally, based off of how this cycle has played out, is definitely heavily manipulated. We did not have a blow off top like we have previously. So I want to look, of course, look at previous indicators that call tops and bottoms. But at the same time, I, I want to expect the unexpected. I think that's gonna be like my new saying, expect the unexpected. That's my, uh, per, just basically like my motto right now. I, uh, of course, we could rally up here. We're like either gonna have a bear run like this one right here, where of course we broke down, had a mini bull run and then broke down here. Or we're gonna have like 2015, which is not really loading, but you guys can see is basically steady. It's like the turtle. You know, you had the turtle and the snail. I think I remember in second grade or first grade. The turtle and the snail. This right here is the turtle. Slow and steady wins the race. And then this right here was the hare, I guess the rabbit. I mean, it just went balls deep. And then it crashed because it had to slow down and then the turtle still won. Uh, actually, I, 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 I don't know if the turtle won in this one. Um, but anyways, the, the whole point being that, see, will we have the turtle bear market or will we have the hare bear market? Let me know down below. But yeah, guys, exchanges are insolvent. So please own your keys. And until next time, may the gains be with you.